So here's my windmill. And the windmill is coming down to this charge controller. This charge controller is of course charging the battery. This is the voltage on the battery as it's charging. Now these are the waveforms that are being sent out by the charge controller. As you can see, no pulses whatsoever. Now I'm going to disconnect the charge controller from the battery. As you can see, the windmill speeds up, the voltage increases. Again, here's our waves. No change because there's no pulses going on here. Just straight out DC current. Now I'm going to put the battery back on. And there it goes. Charging the battery again. Okay, so now I've done the same thing. I took, except I removed the charge controller and I put a three phase diode bridge. As you can see, my six transistors and they're coming through the switch and charging the battery. Here's the battery voltage. Now I'm going to open the switch. Again, the windmill speeding up. These are what the pulses look like. This is your AC after it has been rectified by the diode bridge. You only see half of the wave. The lower half of the wave has been flipped over and rectified into DC current. So now I'm going to turn it back over to charge the battery. See the voltage dropping back down to the battery capacity as the battery slowly charges. Okay, so this time I have connected my high-speed diode bridge, my six transistors, but the positive is coming down and the negative coming back through my switch to this copper rod which has been stuck into the ground. So you can hear my windmill now is charging the battery. Of course when you're charging battery you're not going to see many pulses on your waveform. Now I'm going to stop charging the battery and then you can see the voltage rise. Okay, 
Then this is the voltage coming off of the diodes again. About two volt spikes. I'm going to start charging the battery again. So the thing to notice here is that when I'm charging the battery and when I'm not charging the battery it does not change the speed of the windmill. I'll turn it off. Not charging battery. Turn it back on. Charging battery. So where is my battery? The positive of the high speed diode bridge is going down the hill all the way down to that lake of the hill. There's my battery, way down there. There's my windmill as it sits, sitting up on top of the hill. You can see the wire coming down the hill. Coming back down to the battery. I'm going to zoom. So my windmill again is charging the battery. But this time the battery is at the bottom of the hill. There's my voltage as the battery is charging. The battery is connected on the, the negative side through this switch. Coming down to this red line. Which is coming to this post copper rod which is stuck into the ground. So as the battery is charging, the pulses have of course nearly disappeared. But however, when I open the switch and stop charging the battery, you can see the voltage is increasing. And here's our nice rectified AC pulses again. That's going to be the DC. About 2 volts. Okay, so the windmill is not on load. But I'm going to put it on load to charge the battery. And again, charging battery.